Well, thanks for watching this episode of Revelations. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and executive producer. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship, and we're highlighting ministries all around the world, hoping that you'd get a couple of revelations. First of all, God is still working, and second of all, there's a part for you to be playing within the body of Christ. Today, we're in Panama City, Florida, and with me is Thurman Chambers, the President and CEO for Panama City Rescue Mission. So, I know you've been in the rescue mission ministry for a while. Yep. Tell our viewers a little bit about Panama City and maybe some of the distinctives here with this ministry. Well, it's, it's a unique ministry, and I guess every CEO might say that, but uh, it is. It's a very uh, generous uh, donor base, mm -hmm. really the people that really love this uh, ministry. Uh, church uh, support to this ministry is just awesome. It really is, and and more than just support, they really get behind us and and be and they're involved, and that's the great thing about uh, the relationship with churches. To me, is always number one right. with the mission. Well, it's, as far as the gospel rescue mission is concerned, I know I heard you last night in chapel. You're just trying to get people off the street. So, mm -hmm. uh, what's your approach? How do you meet them where they're at and help them get back on their feet? Well, what we've tried to do, uh, I've been here, I've been back here the second time, three years, and what my goal is to get them off the street, get them in some type of program. And so we have changed some things to try to make that happen. Right. And uh, we, you know, we used to give them five nights, four as a shelter, we used to give them five nights, and then they would, uh, then they would have 30 days, it'd be away 30 days. Right. So we've trying to change that up, trying to force them uh, into a program. Right. And so now you've got five nights and uh, you can't come back for six months, but you can, go, you can join uh, uh, three programs, recovery, a work program, mm -hmm. or a uh, transitional program. Right. And all transitional means is uh, I'm looking for a job. Right. That's, that's yeah. basically what it is. Right. But number one, it gets them off the street yeah. and, and kind of force them really to make a decision. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and you're getting an opportunity to minister to the whole family. You have women, women with children, and men's. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's a it's a unique situation uh, with us. We used to, uh, you know, years ago, we this this facility here housed uh, men uh, and and women and children. Yeah, and uh, and that was really it, it was not good, but we we did it. So right, right. Uh, then. Uh, I found a place on Transmitter Road f to start Bethel Village, right. and I was fortunate to do that when I was here before. And that really is, you know, both both ministries have just grown, uh, and our recovery programs are are just to me with all the missions I've been to, uh, it's it's number one. Yeah. I see the results, and that's what and that's what it's all about. People right. uh, people accepting Jesus Christ as their Savior. And, and knowing that after a few months, they just absolutely don't understand what's happened to them. Right. You well, know? we got a chance to interview some of your key staff, and you have a slogan. What is it? Love God and serve people? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, Loving God and serving serving others. That's, yeah. that's really, that sums it all up, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> if you're not loving God and serving people, there may be something broken, right? That's right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I know God has given you a vision to expand and to grow. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Well, we have. We've recently uh, started a, um, a $2 million campaign, capital campaign. And, and the great thing about that is that we have just been approved uh, for a federal home loan bank grant uh, for Bethel Village of $500,000. And uh, so, but we still need to raise uh, you know, a few hundred thousand, but uh, but that's really a boost to the campaign because right. it's it's really going to make a difference, and it's going to make a difference yeah. to these old facilities, right? Because we have absolutely worn them out. They just, you yeah. know, we we we've, we've patched and and painted. I don't tell them how many times these walls have been painted, but right. you know, and uh, it just things wear out. Yeah, and you got to get to the point. You just say, well, you know, something else has got to happen here. Yeah, well, so, you're hurting a lot of people through, you know, you're evangelizing, you're sharing, you know, the gospel, making yeah. disciples, and a lot of people coming and going, so things break, yeah. there's wear and tear, so... Yeah. Uh, well, it's just like restoration. Yeah. That's really what we're doing with, with the men and women, same thing. Right. 
And, and you know what, where that's involved, and it's just like facilities. Right. They're the same thing. Right. We constantly have to uh, repair and restore and right. uh, keep, and number one, keep Satan from trying to kill and destroy while they're right. trying to serve him. So. so talk a little bit about the ministry. I know there's some different facets to it, like you got the thrift store, you have the feeding program, you have the... Emergency yeah, well, the, and the yeah, the program. thrift stores we have two, and th the thing our our program is a work program, and when I say work program and another like well go a uh, work program uh, is that they have it they get a job on the outside, mm -hmm. but work program for us in recovery is they're either working at one of the stores, uh, mm -hmm. they're on the truck, mm -hmm. uh, they're in the kitchen, mm -hmm. they're doing maintenance. And it's just, you know, a hundred jobs around these type ministries. It's chores. And You're in the house. The yeah. house has chores. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but that's, that's, and it's good for them to, you know, to be involved and be busy. Right. And, uh, and, and rekindle course, that work ethic. That's right. Exactly. That's right. A man but, doesn't work, he doesn't eat. Paul's pretty clear about that. Yeah, exactly. That's right. But uh, as, you, as you saw last night, you know, when you spoke in our chapel, that uh, you know, that somewhere they're going to have to make a decision, right? Because it's getting to the point that uh, you can't stay on the streets forever because it'll it'll absolutely kill you. Yeah, absolutely. There's paths of destruction, and and Jesus said, uh, "I'm the way, the truth, and the life." And and uh, I want to give you life, abundant life. It's it's, exactly. a, it's a full life, exactly. right? And the enemy's been ripping us off or ripping them off, and and we just yeah. need to put an end to that. Yeah. And Bethel Village, of course, is uh, women, and uh, we, uh, well, we have a shelter at both both uh, both facilities. Right. And the Bethel Village, uh, uh, we have uh, the same type programs there that we have here: the right. work and transitional and uh, recovery. Right. Uh, so we, right now, we have about 30 men in this recovery program here. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit high number for us, but. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're trying to make it. So yeah, Jesus had 12, but uh, yeah. you got a bigger staff maybe than he did. He was working <laughs> with all 12 of them. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. good. So, you know, if I were to ask you, what's the vision, what's the mission, what's the heartbeat of the ministry? Well, number one is just to get better of what we're doing and uh, uh, try to minister to more men and women and in a way that they understand, you know, what it's all about, mm -hmm. you know, what God's all about. And uh, some of them that come to us, uh, the only church they've ever darkened is probably the chapel here, right. you know, that, yeah. that type thing. Right. Uh, because even, even our clients, when they relapse, mm -hmm. a lot of it's because they've, they've left here mm -hmm. and they just, uh, they quit church. Right. And when they do that, they just don't realize, but Satan is right there. Yeah. And, uh, and, and he, he welcomes them in, you know. Right. So, yeah. So if our viewers are being led by the Holy Spirit to partner with you guys, how can someone get involved? Well, they can, uh, they can call us uh, and they can uh, go online, pcrmission.org. Uh, so there's, there's a number of ways that they can. Uh, you know, they can call the main number, 769-0783, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll get them signed up. Yeah, you got volunteer coordinators. Volunteer, you have volunteer coordinators. They'll they assess take them, care sign of them up with their gifts and talents and uh, all that as well. Right, yeah, and, exactly. Uh, yeah. Work teams, churches, they come by and, and together as a group, youth groups and stuff like yeah. that, serve in the kitchen. Yeah, we have a lot of youth groups, uh, especially in the summertime. Uh, they come to us from from Kentucky to Tennessee to, you know, wherever. And they come in groups of from 10 to 50. So sometimes you don't know, you know, if you get a project ready for them. But, yeah. but we're trying to get ahead of that to where we know when they're coming, how many and all that. So, yeah. but that, we appreciate that so much, yeah. That's good. Is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with our viewers? Well, it's just that uh, we really, uh, uh, you know, seek out, uh, the people that can financially help us with this capital campaign, because it's uh, I know two million dollars is a is a lot a lot of money, right. uh, but we've all we've got 25 percent of it nailed down, right. 
and probably another hundred thousand with pledges, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so if they can uh, help me with that, give me a call and uh, or or text me. My my uh, email is tchambers uh, uh, at pcrmission.org and let me know if you would like me to come out or you come here or whatever. Yeah. We can get together and I can show you the plan that we put together to make this happen. Amen. Well, I love an opportunity with our viewers watching to pray with you and ask God to establish some partnerships. Okay. Father God, Lord Jesus, uh, we just pray in your name. We thank you for uh, the work you're doing here in Panama City through the rescue mission. God, we lift up the board and, and the staff and all the volunteers, those that have locked arms to co-labor to make an impact in the city, to meet those urgent needs and to demonstrate the good news of Jesus Christ in word and deed. We pray for partnerships with our viewers watching, God, that you would knit the body parts together to do even greater works and that you would be glorified and honored as uh, they reap a harvest in these last days to make fishers of men and disciples. So we pray that you'd continue to bless this ministry, lead them, guide them, and direct them. And we ask for it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews from some of the staff, and you can hear about how God is using Panama City Rescue Mission in these last days to make disciples. Keep watching. I want to invite you to take a look at our website, revelationstvseries.org. It's produced by Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ.